This is Eli, I am Yo from DIYphotography.net. He's from Insta360, and we're looking at the... The Insta360 Titan. Can you tell me something about it? Sure, so it's an eight lens professional VR camera. Um, and the really big upgrade with this camera is the sensors are amazing. We're using eight micro four thirds sensors, eight. eight of them. It's insane. So you can see them ringed around like that. Um, and, and what that allows you to do, it gives you amazing resolution. It gives you amazing dynamic range. The low light performance is great. And when you're watching that in VR, I mean, every one of those details counts. So it's a huge step up for the professional VR industry. We're looking forward to seeing what people do with it. Yeah, and like, who, who is it for? Uh, so this is definitely for, it's for high-end VR film production. And we're seeing a lot of different, um, we're seeing traction in a lot of different areas, actually, yeah. for VR right now. But creative, for sure. I mean, guys who are, who are making or experimenting with um, narrative filmmaking in VR and going yeah. to the festival circuit or doing a documentary as well. I mean, that's one of the most powerful things you can do with VR is bring people to the front lines of um, just amazing, whether it's a news event or whether it's an untold story anywhere in the world. People who are, are making these VR documentaries, this is an amazing camera for them because it, it brings a level of realism that was never possible before. Um, and then at the same time, we're also seeing a lot of innovation and a lot of use in the education space, in the training space, um, or even recruitment. And so we think we'll see a lot of use with that there as well. The same deal though, I mean, the benefits are the same. It's being able to bring people into experiences, being able to just directly let them, let them feel what it's like to be in a new place or, or learn something through first-hand experience. The Titan is going to be amazing for that because of the quality it offers. Yeah. And then how is the Titan different from the competition? Sure. So, um, what Insta360 does better than anyone else is the workflow. We, when we brought out our first generation Insta360 Pro 1, this is our first Pro VR mm -hmm. camera, and it was the first time that you could use the same tools that you developed for traditional filmmaking. Yeah. You didn't have to learn an entire new set of software or spend weeks and days um, stitching together your footage. We simplified the workflow. We made it accessible to anybody using the skills that they'd already developed. That's something that we've carried to all of our products. And now we're, we're bringing that simplified workflow, the accessible workflow that lets you put out projects fast. And then we're just upping the level of quality to a place where it's never been in the industry. I mean, this yeah. is this in terms of in terms of image quality and sensor size. This is leading the market for for a camera that's an integrated that's an integrated standalone camera. Yeah. So that's um, it's at the top of the pack. Oh, that's amazing. Okay. Especially I can imagine with that many micro four third sensors in it, there's nothing like it at the moment. Absolutely. Yeah. So from your other cameras, we know we can re, re, uh, recapture yeah. the image. Can we do that with the Titan as well? Absolutely, and that's, I mean, that's a huge, I'm glad you brought that up because, I mean, while the, the main focus is gonna be VR filmmaking, we, we actually, we're really interested in the ways that um, traditional filmmakers are gonna be integrating this into their workflow as well. There's a million different ways that you could, you could put this into use on a, on a traditional production. Uh, whether you're just getting some extra B-roll where you just want to cover every angle of a scene and make sure that there's, there's no possibility of missing anything. And then still you're going to be able to reframe, prop in, and have a very high quality image when you do that. The Titan will let you do that. And then there's also all kinds of other uses in terms of VFX for just being able to get detailed lighting info, a full capture of this entire setting that you can go then and, and work in with post and, and integrate with your with your traditional footage. So that's going to be something else that we, that we see for sure. There's one other really cool thing that I didn't mention when you asked about um, some of the differentiators yeah. and some of the ways that the Titan stands out. And that we have a we have a proprietary live monitoring system that is something unique to Insta360, where you can you can get it up to a kilometer away from the camera, and you yeah. have a, you have a low latency live preview of everything you're capturing, which for VR filmmakers is key. Yeah, yeah that's very you need useful. To, you need to, otherwise, you have to be running behind trees or <laughs> yeah. know, jumping into a car or something like that. This <laughs> lets you avoid that. Yeah. Cool. I um, just want to go back to the reframing. Do you know yeah. uh, the resolution that would be in? Like, I think it was 1080 with the other cameras. Would yeah. it be higher? So it would be much higher. And that just, I mean, that will totally depend on how close you crop in. Of course. But the, I mean, the, the resolution of this camera is 11K. So you just know that full sphere is 11K. Whatever fraction of that you're going to crop in on, that's that's what you can have. But you could easily crop in on a, on a, a 3K, 4K. Oh, that's video. So that's going to be something that you could drop into anything and it's not going to 
it's not going to feel like you've lowered the quality. It's going to it's going to stand up alongside your traditional footage. Cool. And is it available yet? Um, this is available next month. Pre-orders right. are already open, and it's shipping next month. And so this is it's, you can you can put in an order at insta360.com, and the the system is. 15,000 USD, which includes the Farsight live monitoring system that I was just mentioning. Yeah. So that's a great deal. All right, that's so cool. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Yos. You're welcome. This is Yos, the DIY Photography.net. Um, we'll be running around NAB 2019, and make sure to look at the link at the bottom, because um, we're giving away loads of stuff. Uh, I think it was $8,500 uh, Cine goodies, and um, we'll see you soon again. Cheers.